in the winter we have shoveling and plowing. When it's not winter, in the fall, we have preparing wood and chopping and, and sawing. And in the spring and summer, we have planting and harvesting. Something for every season. And then we have the beauty of every season. This is pretty cool, huh? Although oh. my hands are frozen. Yeah. I'm going but. back. I'm going back inside. We went from owning our own urban fashion line in downtown Seattle to leaving it all and buying 10 acres of land and a barn in northern Idaho with our parents who sold their home of 40 years. All with a vision of refashioning our lives centered around simplifying and slowing down, reconnecting to source. This is our journey. This is Homestead Fashioned. So up till now, the snow that we've gotten so far has been kind of here and there. It's snowed and then it's melted, it'll snow and then it's melted. Well, it's almost Thanksgiving and the forecast is telling us that we're about to get a lot of snow and uh, we want to get out and get our Christmas tree before everything is buried in a bunch of snow. Sky, what are we doing? We are getting our Christmas tree. What are we doing? Getting our Christmas tree. Yeah, we do. We are. First Christmas tree! Yippee! Is that the one? That's the one. The girls can have that one. <laughs> what are you doing, Sparrow? What are we doing right now? Getting a Christmas tree. This where, one looks good. Where are we? In our backyard. Yeah, I'm going to scope out trees for my room. Clean. Yeah. Yeah, let's look for trees for our room. Baby trees. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's do it. You taking a break, Dad? No. Huh? You need a break? Oh, I'm just waiting to for Justin to move along here. Yeah. Hey Sparrow, show me the tree. Where's our Christmas tree this year? Right there. Boom shakalaka. Right on our own property. I'm gonna cut it down. There's Glory, she approves. Happy branches you have. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. What tree. There it goes. What lovely branches you What is it, Sky? Uh, Ooh, I like it. And if you, if, and you can put it on the, like this.
So clearly we got our tree just in time because the next morning, two things were clear. One, winter had shown up and two, we weren't going anywhere anytime soon. What you guys doing out there? Well, I'm working on the truck. Crunch. You plowing, you scooping snow, babe? Yep. So dad is fixing the tail light because yesterday we tried to drive into town. We don't have new tires on this yet. And I slid off the road twice actually, in fact. We were kind of going like this down the road and I was trying to pull it together and a truck comes up over the other, uh, other side of the hill. Luckily he didn't like T-bone us. He went up, he was in a huge truck, he went up onto the, onto the bank and clipped us right there. And then he just kept on going. You didn't stop. We just keep pushing. <laughs> and then he hit the tail light there? Yeah, he yeah. hit the tail light here, broke the tail light out. So I put tape on it to try and seal it up so it doesn't short out but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, we were thanking God for your lives yesterday, right? Yeah. Our snowplow guy left us a nice mound right here. So, but the snow is pretty light and fluffy. I don't see why, as long as we don't stay on top of it, this isn't totally not a problem. But it seems like he might have done something because the hill in front of our driveway was a lot smaller than that hill. Look how high that is. Yeah. Good job, babe. You're doing a good job. Thank you for doing this. Love you. Love you. So it was clear now that one of our missions was to become best friends with that snowplow guy. So every time we heard him coming down the road plowing the roads, we would run out wave and uh, he became our best friend pretty soon he would stop and he would take his time and plow out the front of our driveway so mission accomplished there in the winter we have shoveling and plowing when it's not winter in the fall we have preparing wood and chopping and, and sawing and in the spring and summer we have planting and harvesting something for every season and then we have the beauty of every season this is pretty cool, huh? Although oh. my hands are frozen. Yeah. I'm going but back I'm going back inside. The snow is powdery. It's, it's light, light and fluffy. Yeah, it's light and fluffy. And powdery right now. Easy to get out of the way for now. If we stay on it like this, not a problem. How's it going, Dad? How's it going? Uh, this is probably not the last time we're going to have to do this, right? Nope. Keep it clear. When you get that little snowplow tractor up and running and plow it out of there. It's good exercise. Come on, go throw it over there. Yay! All the snow. We have so much snow. So we've all heard the saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So, 
After all the shoveling was done, when Idaho gives you snow, what do you do? You make the most of it and you go sledding. Is this fun? Yeah! Woohoo, right? <laughs> Let's see this hill that you came up from. Oh yeah, that's a big hill. Papa's flattening it out, smoothing it out. Look at all these trees. Sky! But the um, funnest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Woo -hoo! Look out below. Here comes Daddy. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Did you see Daddy? <laughs> Was that fun? <laughs> Woohoo! So that was fun. Can you say hi to daddy? Are we all done with this? We're all done. Got gravy going here. Extra creamy. Yes, it's gonna be perfectly creamy. I made homemade breadcrumbs for it today. Ooh. And it's gonna be delicious. I'm using three different kinds of cheeses. Ooh, Mom, you're making gravy? Making gravy. I said, do you want me to make gravy or do you want Mom? And Chris was like, I don't want Mom. <laughs> well, Sheesh. nobody Sheesh. makes gravy like Mom. No one makes gravy like Mom. You could probably make a good gravy, babe, but I want mom's gravy. <laughs> nice. <Yes>. Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's true, though. Mommy, you too, Mommy. exactly. What do you want? Your gravy or mom's gravy? I want her gravy. I know. Mommy knows. Then maybe I will learn how to make gravy like her. Mommy well, knows. kind of make it different every time. Well, that's the thing. She doesn't have a recipe. She just kind of does it. That one that you shot? No, that is one that we on our turkey cleaning day we I I dispatched it and Crystal cleaned it. All right. And now we're gonna eat it. Yeah. Love it. What are you guys doing? I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. I'm building a Barbie house. Building a Barbie house? Yeah. Hi. Hi. The green phone? Mommy. Mommy, Bubble. Yams. 
sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Society tells us that success lies on the other side of 60 hour work weeks with a vacation sprinkled in here and there. Working constantly. Well, moving from Seattle and going from like working downtown and being constantly busy, constantly having something to do, constantly having some place to be, and then moving to Idaho to a farm, it's been a sort of a detox. If I'm not doing something, I have to fight that feeling that I'm not accomplishing something. But when the snow comes and you can't go anywhere and all of the outdoor projects have to stop, everything feels like it comes to a halt. But at the end of that, you sort of get the feeling that that's where life, like, really begins. What's up, y'all? Deer. Deer everywhere around here. <laughs>